Well, hey guys, this is a very impromptu video. I really wasn't going to do this today because I think the uh, format has kind of wore itself out for me. As far as these uh, quick and dirty, I'm going to call them quick and dirty because I'm borrowing the phrase from my friend Gregory Short, who, if you haven't checked out Greg's channel, Gregory Short, uh, popcrackle.com, you've got to check out his channel because he, I don't know, he has a way of making me feel good, even if it's I'm not interested in the music that he's showing because his taste is like everything from old-time country music to, you know, ambient, uh, you know, you name it. I mean, he's just into everything, jazz and classical and, you know, he's a huge cassette collector. In fact, I think he's the the uh, admin for the cassette collectors group on face page, or Facebook. Uh, anyway, um, I'm rambling, but uh, Gregory Short, Sorry, I stole your phrase there, uh, quick and dirty. Um, but yeah, I just wasn't really uh, kind of feeling doing a video, but I, I, I did kind of feel like I owe this one to a friend of mine, uh, Ross Goodall, who I've talked about several times on this channel. We've exchanged uh, VCLTs and always uh, talking about music. Just a great guy out in Scotland, and he's been kind of bothering me to um, do this video. And even though I really don't know much about this guy at all, uh, I, I, I just I, I don't mind doing it because he's only got three albums, well really two solo albums, and one CD I'm going to show you, but everybody knows him from the Smiths, and I'm talking about Johnny Marr, um, and I gotta be honest with you, you know, I'm a Smiths fan, but I'm not a huge over-the-top Massa fan, so I really never paid attention to his solo career whatsoever. And, um, you know, I'm a mild Morrissey fan. He kind of honestly gets on my nerves a little bit with all the whinging and whining. And, you know, he's very kind of one-track minded when it comes to his uh, style. Um, it, for me, you know, and I don't mean to offend his, his uh, big, big uh, fandom. But I'm just not a huge fan of Morrissey. Although I do have the Smiths box set. I've got most of his solo albums, you know. So I guess maybe I'm more of a fan than I like to think I am. I don't know. But anyway, Johnny Marr is just somebody... I really knew nothing about, and um, other than he was a great guitarist with the Smiths. Now, I've come to find out that he was in Electronic, uh, who I was a fan of at the time in the in the early '90s. I think they came out, um, and they had one in particular very good album, self-titled album, which is a masterpiece. I, I absolutely love it. I file it file it with my New Order stuff because it was. Um, uh, Bern Bernard Sumner of New Order and Johnny Marr and a little bit of uh, Neil Tennant from Pet Shop Boys. Um, so, really, beyond that, I knew nothing about Johnny Marr. I just thought, kind of thought he faded into oblivion. And when I found out that he had a couple solo albums, um, Ross told me about them. And Ross said, you've got to check out this Johnny Marr. That album um, he came out with in 2015 is amazing. He loves it. And I'm like, and then he sent me a link saying, hey, it's on sale. It's cheap. So he's really pushing me to try it. And I'm very, very glad I did. This is the album that he did last year. I think it's 2015. Oh, 2014. Sorry, I'm a little off. But this uh, Playland was the first one I got. And I got to tell you, this is one hell of an album. Um, had I known this album in 2014, it probably would have been in my top 10 because I have really, really grown to like this record a lot in the three weeks that I've owned it. I played it because I also uh, used the uh, download card that it came with and put it on my um, iPod. And I had several long road trips in the past two or three weeks before this vacation. And that was kind of my go-to record, this, uh, this album here. I think it's just absolutely terrific. Now, here's the track listing on the back if you want to check it out. And I really just didn't, I, I mean, it just didn't even dawn on me that he was just now kind of getting into a solo career because the Smiths have been broken up for years. Electronic, I haven't heard anything about in decades. So I really, honestly, I'm looking for feedback here from what you guys know about Johnny Marr and what he's been doing for the past 20 years. Um, because he kind of came out of nowhere for me other than what I've mentioned already. Um, so this was the first one I bought about three, four weeks ago, thanks to Ross, and um, I just absolutely love it. Uh, every track on here, there's really no point in talking about my favorites, because I like every single one of them. Really like Easy Money, really like Dynamo. Um, oh man, the title track is amazing, Boys Get Straight, uh, it's just a really good album, and while it's not... Um, very varied in sound. I mean, a lot of the songs do have a very similar feel. You know, it's just straight ahead, kind of simple construction. Isn't that much variety on it. It's just so good. It's like, 
why not? Anybody would like this record. Anybody who likes rock music is going to like this record. So I don't know where he's been hiding for the past 20 years. I don't know what he's been up to. But uh, as a new new fan of his solo career, I would say that this has really, really resonated with me. And it's very impressive. So uh, like I said, had I owned this in 2014, you bet, it would have been very high on my ranking. Now, I like that so much, after a couple listens, I went and got this one. This is the one he released previously. This is his debut solo record called The Messenger. And it's also very good. Another great rockin' album. This came out just a year prior in 2013. Uh, the Right Thing is on here. Um, Generate, Generate, that's a great song. I mean, again, you know, just take your pick. There's uh, 12 songs on here, and they're all great. So I think... It may have taken a while for him to feel the need or want to write some solo material, but well worth the wait, really, because these are two really great records. And had these either one of these been 2016 releases, absolutely they would have been in my top uh, albums listing for this, this year that we're currently in. Now, I was talking to another friend, Andy Tasker, on Facebook. And I don't think he makes videos. I could be wrong. Um, Anyway, big, big music fan in the UK. He loves the Manchester music scene, and he's got a lot of good suggestions for me, and I appreciate the interaction we have with um, uh, music on Facebook. He said that Johnny Marr had a band called Johnny Marr and the Healers and an album called Boom Slang. He said, you got to check that out. So I bought the CD. This, I think, is the only format it came in, is just compact disc. Um, and it's another dandy. Maybe not quite up to the level of these two for me, um, but... Again, you know, it just starts off amazing. The first two tracks are just real rock and fun tracks. Kind of an interesting note here that Ringo Starr's son, Zach, I think is his name. I was going to try to look real quick. I made zero notes for this video. It's probably showing. Um, I think that's this guy here, Zach Starkey. I think that's his name anyway. Anyway, it's Ringo's son. There's a picture of him on the inside that looks like you can tell that, that he's Ringo's kid. He looks just like Ringo here. And you definitely can see the family resemblance. Anyway, he plays drums. And apparently I found out through Ross, again, that now this guy is also the current drummer for The Who. So in their touring uh, band, uh, he plays drums for The Who. So who knew? Who knew? <laughs> anyway, I didn't even know Rich, I didn't even know Ringo Starr's son was a drummer, so it's just cool. And anyway, um, it's just amazing. You know, something like this came out in 2002, I think, if I'm reading it right, 2002 or three. Um, never heard of it, didn't get any attention, probably didn't sell very well, but it's a damn good album and it's a shame because it could have been a hit. Um, so I would say for people who follow my channel, who like classic rock and they like 80s and they like guitar driven rock and roll, take your pick because you can't go wrong. Any of these are going to be great finds for you. So in the effort of trying to do uh, artists that have two or three albums only, I am surprised, in a way, to name Johnny Marr, but yes, as a solo artist, he's only got really officially two albums, and then I guess you could sort of count this one as a third. Um, and that's it, you know, for a guy who's been around for a long time, but I like him a lot. So, Ross, thank you so much for the suggestion. Um, sorry I wasn't overly prepared for this, I just found myself a little bit of time here in the middle of the day to do something quick, and thought I'd throw it together. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I think that's it for this series. I really do. I don't think I'll do anything uh, for the weekend. I think I've put enough videos up for the for the last week. You know, I'll give it a rest for a week and uh, come back and do something maybe uh, more familiar to you guys in, in, in a week from now. So until then, have a terrific weekend ahead. Enjoy yourself. Maybe find something new to listen to. I've given you several suggestions. Temper Trap this week. Sulk. Uh, who else did I do? Um, Django Django and now Johnny Marr. So you got four good choices for me, but there's thousands of others that uh, I would just say I'm going to challenge anybody out there to try to find something new this weekend that you uh, have never heard before and give it a go. So anyway, thank you for sticking with me this week, and I hope you've enjoyed the series, and uh, it's back to work for me next week, so I'll be back to my quiet self. And you probably say, like, whew, I'm glad. <laughs> anyway, take care. Bye.